coach said after, after the last game that since you guys came back from sort of the, the Christmas break, he's sort of seen a different look from you, whether it's kind of more mature or just general improvement. Do you, do you feel like you have a different mindset coming out of that break? Um, I'm just starting to get used to it. So I'm just starting to bring my effort every day and just going back home and seeing what my family's going through. I got to come back here and just play harder. That's it, really. When you say what your family's going through, what do you mean by that? Um, just to like life struggles, you know. Mom's working two jobs, things like that. But... So, so how much did that break and, and being home and, and away from here really kind of change your focus as you, when you came back on campus? Um, a lot. Just because I just got to be more mature, more focused on and off the court, make uh, good decisions, whether it's on the court or off the court, things like that. Now that you've been through it, what's what's the hardest thing about your first semester of college? Um, time management, how to work around school, practice, getting shots up, stuff like that. Is it exciting for you to go back to West Virginia? Yeah, it's like a kind of a homecoming for me, but it's going to be fun. Yeah, my host mom, host dad, my nana, my host nana, my host brother. So. Are they West Virginia fans? Uh, nah, they're uh, Oklahoma State fans. <laughs> What's the adjustment been like for you, maybe learning to recognize that you don't always have to put up big numbers to make an impact? Um, just realizing like I could do a lot more things, like get to the line, um, burn energy, uh, get rebounds. I'm starting to add that to my game more get more minutes so that's one thing I realized as a freshman because I'm used to like playing and just scoring the ball in high school but it's a different level here. Coach said that kind of every freshman has a has a moment where they realize this this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Is there one of those moments for you where you kind of said this is, this is harder than than I figured it was gonna? Yeah it was. Uh, I mean coming out of high school going to a, uh, playing at a, a good program you think you know it all you think like get to go here and be the man, but this is uh, it's a different beast in college. What was that moment? Um, as soon as I stepped from here, just going through the workouts, conditioning was really the hardest thing. Never been through it before. Something like that. How hard is that adjustment of, of no longer being the guy, no longer being the best athlete? How hard is that to adjust to? Um, it's not really hard. I'm just waiting on my time, being patient. I know my time will come when it's needed. So really, it's just being patient, and I'm a patient person. So. What area of your game do you think has grown the most? Grown the most? I'd say most uh, defensive, defensively. Um, usually, I'm an offensive guy, but coaches are uh, trying to make sure I sit down, play defense a lot more, so I can earn more minutes on the floor. How has Cam helped you through this process? Uh, a lot. He's like a big brother to me. I mean, he takes me under his wing, gets shots up, watch film, things like that. So a big impact. How has that shot tracker system you guys use in practice, how has that helped you? Um, really just knowing my stats of where my spots are on the floor, where I hot, cold. So it's really helped me a lot to try to get more in that situation in the game so I can make more shots. Is that actually something you're able to kind of keep in mind during yeah, games? Yeah, I'm just, I know where my spots are. Can I just talk to you about another shot tracker? In the practice, you know, it's a high percentage of a three-pointers in the game that hasn't translated. Are you trying to work with you? Is there something that you do that yet and you try to figure out? I just got to uh, watch more film and slow my game down. I'm starting to rush my shot in games. That's one thing I notice. I'm not sitting down. I'm not, I'm not ready to shoot the ball when I get the ball. So that's one thing I'm starting to work on in practice. What do you feel like is the best part of your game right now? Um, I'm a three-level scorer. I can dribble, pass, shoot, uh, score on the block. I'm just very versatile. That's what I think. I think the last couple games have seen more of you driving to the basket and trying to get to the hoop as opposed to settling for jump shots. Is that something that's been a heavy emphasis with the with you and the coaches? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm really just trying to see the ball get through the rim first. So even if it's a layup or a free throw, that's what I'm starting to do first. And then I can work my way out from there. Since you arrived at that first summer practice when you said you had to deal with the tough conditioning and all that, what kind of advice has Coach Point given you that you've really dealt with? Just got to 
keep on going, keep pushing. It's gonna be, I mean, if you wanna be successful, you gotta do some hard work, so that's about it. Has he given you anything to read? We hear he's a guy who hands yeah, he, out a lot of books. Yeah, nah, not me. Probably Thomas, but not me.